good morning everybody. I guess I can still say that because I think it's maybe 11. Anyway, we did, we had just, just a normal morning, if you can call it that. We got started with like housework and school too late <laughs> and visited over coffee for too long. And, but that's good. That's, it's all good things. I have to keep that in perspective that those are all good things. We are getting set up to get some chicks. So we're hoping that it's not too late. Some of the places around here, people want to start getting chicks like in February. And I don't, I don't like to get them that early. So hopefully we can still get some chick, some chicks. And we are going to get the, the metal trough here. And that's what we're going to be putting our chicks into. We call this area the boneyard. It's sort of where all the scraps of things go that, you know, you guys remember, good junk and junk junk. Well, this is like good junk over here. It's not quite ready for the junk junk, but you know, cause you never know what you might be able to make out of this stuff. So anyway, you we gotta get- You never know when you might need it. Right. I know. <laughs> Maria. I just thought of that when I said, you know when you might need it. And then I was like, oh, I know. And it's and never. It's never. <laughs> One, right. See if it works. No, we're pushing down on it. All right. That truly was take one. We'll see. We'll do it again. Maria, see if you, you know can what we're gonna do, Peter. Wheel are backwards. <laughs> Maria, you stand in there and hold on, and we'll and you oh. can like ski. <laughs> Um, are you sure? I don't know. Give it a try. Take two. <laughs> don't pull Maria out, no. <laughs> Go real slow, Peter. I'm scared. <laughs> Hold on tight. Nope. Oh, stop. It's pull pulling me, me out. Pull me backwards. Yeah, it's pulling Maria out. <laughs> All right, we'll just hook it back up. It. Like, take three. <laughs> take three was working pretty well. Oh, there it goes. Here, let's get it back into position. Take four is working even better. Okay, you want to push it, Maria, or you want me to jam it in there? It's really digging in. I think you need to lift it up. Okay. Mom, I need help. Okay. All right, we got a little system going. We stop every once in a while, lift it up above whatever we're digging in, into. Then I go behind and smooth out the ruts. <laughs> it works. It's slow, but we're not in a hurry. Oh boy. Uh-oh. We're gonna have to get a new sign. Chicken no longer, dummy. right. I wish we could keep the horses only. If we wanted to keep that, then we'd have to get a horse. Mm, I think chickens are good. All right, well, we got this in here and we just hooked up power and our heat lamp and now we need to just get a better sit system. So, I don't know, we're gonna do something. We're gonna hang something off the ceiling there and hang it down here. Peter went to get a bunch of stuff He's like, I'll go get some wire and nails and a screw and I don't know what he was getting, a hook. So we'll figure it out. We're hitting up Walmart right here and everything's better when it's mega. Yep. <laughs> Lucky charms for St. Patrick's Day. Yep. Yep. Regular. Excuse us. Good. They are regular size, family size, but we got mega size. We're in tractor supply now. The kids have already run to the back to look for chicks. 
But isn't this the cutest? This is so cute. $1.99. Oh, these could be used as a planter or... What do they say? They do say it's a plant stand. Yeah, so as a plant stand, or you could even use this as a small little drink cooler. And the kids were just saying we need a new chicken sign, but this is $19.99, which, eh, I don't really want to spend that on that. How's the chick outlook? Okay, so they only have chickens, but it's males and females. Oh, they're mixed together? Yeah. Really? Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's go check. It says unbred. They have you want to see something even better? Okay. Let's see. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so they cute. Have two kinds of chicken. So oh, we have leg horns. Males and and it says, yeah, it says and straight runs, straight too. runs, Jersey Giants. That means you're always almost gonna get all this roosters. Is, breed. is that what that means? We really like Carl's breed. They're Wait, so Mom, pretty, that's what that means. You'll almost always get roosters. roosters. Well, when you're trying to get hens that seems like that's what ends up happening that you get a bunch of roosters so we should probably go to so wyandots and blue tint straight but runs like wyandots because they're so pretty they are good layout. they yeah. are very pretty what's in here nothing in there nope and nothing over there toys. uh yes it says, bridge. Bridge. it says bridge it says impeccables pecking fish toy Oh my oh, what goodness, about this? look at these, you guys. Look at these little feed trays and water trays. Those are what cute. Are Those are so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Mom, look, right Have you here. ever seen Those such a thing? so cute. The brown ones? Yeah. Your turn. There, that's four. Yeah, one of four. four, right? That's it, yeah. yep. Thank you. They are just so fun to watch. They're all straight on, right? Yeah. Okay. Have you scared the box? If I can please have... So, we did decide to go with the straight run. I guess, fingers crossed. We'll see what happens if we end up with pullets or roosters. But, um, yeah, we just kind of got them settled in here. And they're just so cute. There is something so precious about little chicks. Okay, tonight. I'm out on the Blackstone again. This is another thing that I saw on Instagram. He just used, so this is basically going to be shrimp fried rice. What I saw was chicken fried rice. I do need to start kind of flipping stuff around here. So just a little oil and my vegetables here. So we're just gonna get these kind of going, spread out my shrimp. Make sure we get those spread out so they cook evenly. And we have rice over here. I cooked the rice ahead of time. And now I'm going to put over some soy sauce. I think this is what he used. I didn't read his description or instructions. I just watched <laughs> and figured I'd make it work. I probably should have some kind of salt and pepper, I feel like. Are you going to grab that, Emily? Yeah. Okay. Emily and her family are here. It's Friday night. We're doing another fish fry. It is week... Ooh. Warren, are we on week four or week five? Of what? Of fish fry. Um, Did we have three and then go out one weekend? Yeah. 
This okay. is week five, but this is the fourth fish The fourth fry. one that we've done, but we're on week five, yeah, but four fish, fish fries. now after this one. Okay. All right, you guys heard it. Next week, we're going to start going out for fish. Um, all right. Um, but anyway, so Emily and her family are here tonight for fish. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing this right. And that's probably got enough salt with the soy sauce, but this stuff is all going to be pretty bland over here. Do you think there's any other flavors? I mean, should I put like some garlic? That's probably what I would have done. Oh, yeah. Garlic powder oh. or minced garlic from the fridge? Um, Which either. one? I don't think I would have done garlic salt. Oh, garlic salt's a good one. Well, we already salted, so we want to do some garlic powder. Sure. Okay. Okay, I think that the shrimp is done. I cracked in two eggs, scrambled them up a little bit, and now I'm just going to start kind of, you know, mixing around. And we're going to just start mixing everything in right now. How am I going to get all of this off, Emily, and what am I going to put it on? <laughs> I never even thought of that. Okay. Yep. Emily put some garlic on. I'm not sure if I got film of that. Pink. That is a pretty rock, isn't it? Yeah, pink quartz. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Okay, this looks good. We'll see. Is there eggs in this one? With cool yep, there's a little egg. How do we scoop it? Oh, I thought I got a spoon. Would you get that Here, blue spoon that doesn't have holes in it, honey? Or is it not over there? Sure, it is. What do you want oh, to drink, hon? Huh? What do you want to drink? There's what do you have holes one? in it, Mom? Um, Cranberries, cool whip. You already have juice? Pineapple, Pineapple. apples, grapes, and really some pecans. Okay, I'll try a little bit. Mm -hmm. I like it. We have a pasta salad that Emily brought tonight. Looks scrumptious. Next Friday, we're going to Roadhouse. Ready? Roadhouse. I, I tried a new recipe here, and this is for a cranberry Waldorf salad. It has apples, grapes, crushed pineapple, cool whip, cranberries, um, some sugar, and pecans. I think I hit it all. Here's the finished shrimp fried rice, yes. and we have the fish. You guys have been watching us have that for the last few weeks. Oh, nice. Good morning on this super, super windy Saturday. <laughs> okay, that's been a while since this has happened. I think my battery's gonna die right now. So let me get that fixed and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So it's getting close to lunch. It's 11.25 already. And I had some frozen garlic naan in the freezer. This was actually, see I pick up all the sticker breads and everything from Aldi and then I pop the stuff into the freezer. So I pulled this out and it says to preheat to 400 degrees, sprinkle with water and bake for two minutes. So we're going to do that. And then I have some barbecue pork that I had put into the fridge to thaw. And so I'm going to warm up a portion of this on the stove and then we'll just serve this on the naans, kind of squeeze it, taco it, something like that. And we will have that along with the leftover cranberry Waldorf salad that I made last night for the fish fry. Is this the first time you've seen it? Yeah. Do you want some shavings? Yeah. Yeah, we'll put down some shavings here. I don't know why they're over here. Oh, I still have to bring my extra, another piece of cardboard over. Why didn't they just do that? I don't know. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put that down, but I don't think we should put down many more because what okay. I would like to be able to do in like three out. days is be able to, you know, clean that up. So I think we'll just close this back up. Okay. That works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they look like chickens. <laughs> Aren't they cute? So this one with the dark spot on its back, the gray one, mm -hmm. that's mine. What'd you name it? 
I haven't named it yet. Rocco. <laughs> Rocco. And then the other little light gray is Maria's. And then the one over there that's like brown with a little stripe on its back. Uh-huh. That one is Joe's. And then this other dark one is Peter's. What did they name them? I don't know. Uh, oh, Joe named his Blackbird. Blackbird? Blackbird. And I don't know about Peter and Maria if they named him or not. So you know, back in when when did we have the the chimney exposed, and January. or when did you expose it and we put in the pipe? January. Okay, so that was January, and the project just kind of got put on hold. We were working on Maria's bedroom. The boys' bedroom is still in progress. And anyway, today Warren was surfacing up. He wants to get trim out the, you know, like the open spaces between the wall and. The fireplace so anyway he was out here surfacing up um, boards today so that he could make up that trim but it's just so windy like it's so windy out here today you don't even want to be out here doing anything so anyway he's I'm gonna help him put this back into the garage and what else just clean up my mess just clean up the spot we're going to I'm gonna get that little rake and All see right. if I can rake up some of these wood chip or wood shavings here yeah, you might be able to recover some of them. Recover some of them, because then we can use them for the chips. I'll come out and I'll put the rest of this in. This early spring doesn't know what it's trying to do. If it's trying to warm up or it's just trying to be annoying. So far it's done a good job of being annoying. It, it has been an annoying spring. It's been very annoying. Let's see if she'll light. Little greasy grease rags should make it happen. Yep. So at this point, I'm going to take my shower curtain down. This morning, I did a lot of cleaning. You know, when you go into the bathroom, and well, at least this is what I do. <laughs> Many times a week, I give the toilet just a wipe down, grab a little handful of toilet paper. Sometimes you get it damp, sometimes you don't. You just kind of wipe it down, wipe around the, like the back little area, wipe underneath the seat, wipe the rim, all that. I mean, it takes like 10 seconds. And then, and I was gonna do that this morning because I was like, oh, I need to wipe down the toilet. And I looked at it and I thought, no, it needs disinfecting. So I grabbed some cleaning spray and I sprayed down the toilet. And then once I cleaned, uh, once I sprayed down the toilet, then I was like, you know what, I should probably do the sink too. Normally I would do sink then toilet, but if I was actually coming in to do a clean, but I didn't think I was gonna be doing that. So then I went to the other bathroom and I did the same thing. And then I was like, you know what, I should probably wash the floor. So then I did that. Anyway, that made me think I need to take my shower curtain down. It's white and it is starting to yeah, look at that, where everybody grabs a hold of it to open and close it, it's starting to get pretty dirty. So let me get this down, we're gonna get this in the wash, and it always washes up really well. I got this one from Amazon, it's got like little flowers on it. I've had it since 2020. Here we are the next day in the afternoon, and I have some thawed ground beef that I wanted to get made into something. What better thing to do? on a cold and really, really windy, windy day here. We're getting snow flurries, which we've hardly had any snow all winter, or what better thing to make than hug and kiss soup. Now, you might call this American pottage. Maybe you call it hamburger vegetable. There are so many names for this soup. We have just always forever called it hug and kiss soup. I get started here browning until I got that good brown crust in my Dutch oven. I browned the meat like that with some onion. I had frozen onions from when we did the freezer meals. I double bagged them, put them in the freezer. I knew they would come in handy on a day when, you know, you just want to get something done quick. And then I chopped up some potatoes and celery and carrots. I get that all into the pot with eight cups because I'm doubling the recipe. I doubled the recipe because I just know that this is going to go really, really quick tomorrow for lunch and supper will be the plan for this. It's gonna be cold tomorrow. I get in some salt, plenty of salt, 
and lots of pepper and a couple of bay leaves. I'm going to cover this, let this simmer away while well, I bring it to a boil first. Let it simmer away for 20 minutes until the vegetables are soft and then I'll just add in of my home canned tomato juice. Now if you want a really filling soup, feel free to put in some quick cook barley at this point or you could put in some like little shell macaroni would be really good in here. A lot of times I will do barley and the kids like that a lot. Um, I just I just want the basics. So for a double today. batch, I would need to put in two jars of the tomato juice, but it just looks plenty soupy um, with one jar. So that's what it's going to be. And I also forgot before to put in a couple of beef bouillon cubes, so I did just add those as well. Yeah, look at that. It's a it's a trash plain kind of day. This. What do I have to do here? I got what? nothing here, huh? Oh, Peter, you do know how to deal the cars. I know, doesn't he? Peter's up. Come on, man. We're gonna watch you. <laughs> Somewhere warm? Well. <laughs> such place. So let's go down the driveway and take Parsons Trail up to our 40 and then come down on the road. Okay. Warren and I are going out for a little walk, maybe 30 minutes. Yeah, we could probably do that. We can do 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Okay, because it's cold and American Idol is going to be on at 7. And what else? We're making frozen pizzas for supper. Yep. So that's nice and easy. And... Here comes Peter. Here comes Peter Peter. I hope he knows we're here. <laughs> How cold is it? Pretty cold. Pretty cold. I was kind of keeping my eyes out for them too. Trail, some deer trail. <laughs> 